Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Mega Man X2 with yes, Neil. Two. As you can see, we have Zero's head without his blonde hair, so I think we shaved him. Oh, and we have, we have to find his hair. His hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah his, his, hair. his hair. His hair. Part, part four. It's part four. We, we beat the boss off camera because... Well, it's off camera. We've seen him enough. Yeah. Now we're back at the Magnapede. Yes. <laughs> the bag to P.I. Badoosh. Badooshki. Is that like... He doesn't have a weakness, right? Uh, he does have the weakness to Silk Shot. It's just that it's difficult to get Silk Shot to, like, you know, pick up on one person. Especially what, what when is it's... Silk Shot, technically? It's just garbage. Did, did you get it from, like, a centipede thing? No, I got, actually got Silk Shot from a moth. That makes sense. Yeah, but hold on, watch this. Look at it. Like, look at the actual shot. It ch It's just garbage. But does it hurt him a lot? Oh, yeah. It's his weakness. I have to get up into his face to... Or up on a good angle. Like, see, it doesn't go straight up. I have to be totally up in this... Well, grill. <laughs> his grill to do this. Yeah! Do you not have E-tanks anymore? I do have E-tanks. It's just that I've got to get certain upgrades to get them. Like, the remember how I had the leg upgrade and the head and all Are that we right at him, though, again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank God. No, no, no. Oh, it's only the mini-bosses that throw you back in the middle of the Stone Age. Oh. My. Money. Don't you mean, oh my god, you worship what you want, I'll worship what I want. <laughs> Thank you, Kaiba. <laughs> yeah. Sato Kaiba. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame, shame on, on me. me. Fool me three times and someone's getting curb stomped by Sato Kaiba. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Uh, Screw little the money, I have rules. <laughs> wait. Yeah, wait. <laughs> I, I I wonder what ever happened to Little Karibo. I know he got married. Yeah, he got married, and I think he had a... Uh, was I think Little Karibo actually had some a le a legal, pro uh, legal problem because there was someone literally going around flagging all the stuff for content. Four kids? Yeah. I don't think it was four kids. I think it was someone working on. Is four kids even a thing anymore? Uh, yeah, it is. It it still is. Here's an odd question that came out of nowhere: Is Polaroid Pictures still a thing? Yes, it is. Oh yeah, because Polaroid Pictures have they have a certain quality about them that you can't really get from digital. But like, does anyone even like get pictures like that taken anymore? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I know a few people who still do. Huh. That's odd. I mean, that's odd. It is, but think about this. Digital, when you take a digital picture, it takes everything there. It takes the exact amount of light at that point in time. You can't adjust the light. You can't change the aperture. You can't do anything. My cousin wanted to start a YouTube channel where he reacts to anime. So he, he's I assume he's an anime guy. He, he's an anime fan, but he's also a huge sports fan. He actually uh, plays a lot of sports. He's really fit. Oh, but he's a huge anime fan, too. Anyways, so he was asking me uh, for channel name suggestions. <laughs> so I was like, you know, you're Canadian. What about Polar React? Um, you know, like you use the R from Polar for React as well. No, so no, I, I, got, I, I got it. I was just like, what? Okay. And he says, that's not a bad idea. And then I was like, in that way, if you ever decide to go into a gaming channel as well, you can make a Polar Gaming channel. And then I'm like, and if you ever get into photography, you could be called Polaroid. <laughs> oh, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts too much. You know, just like a YouTube channel where you show off pictures you've taken with a Polaroid camera. Yeah, well, shh. Pol Polar React, Polar Gaming, Polaroid... <laughs> I don't think you could be sued for that, actually. No, you can't be sued because for that. it's just a name. I I believe I've seen a YouTube channel named Walmart, and it wasn't owned by Walmart. Uh, well, yeah, it, it's a it's a name thing, but you know, here's the thing though, YouTube right now, as at this point in uh its history, it's just mm. the only way I can think about it is there was a uh, editorial a little while ago about how. Like, a lot of YouTubers just to have... Hold on. Gotta let that slide. 
a lot of YouTubers are having their content just ripped out for no reason besides someone wanted to do it. And how YouTube does it is when someone flags a content, some content, it goes into this like I would say limbo. And if it's flagged for mo monetary value, the money goes to the accused, uh, the person who chose the flag, to do it. And then they, it, the video goes in limbo before it can be judged. Thing is, is that, win or lose, that money for the one day that was in that video is going to the person who accused it, and they ain't giving it back. So it doesn't go, the money does not go into limbo as well. It just goes, yeah, you stole my money, I'm taking it and flagging your video. The video gets flagged, YouTube judges it, win or lose, that money's still going to the guy who accused it. For that one day. For though. the one day. Which is stupid, because then that means people can make false set, false flags and be stealing that money for the day, and just be like, oh, sorry, I so was what, wrong. What they should do is technically make it so that when it's in limbo, no one can even look at it. Well, what they should be doing is when it's in limbo, if the money that's being made for that one day should also be put on freeze to a, like, well, third account. I agree with that, but I mean, like, if it's in limbo and it has to be judged, like, no one should be able to be watching this video. But, but yeah, that's, well, that's what they do. Like, when it's put in limbo, that's when you see the whole, uh, this video has been flagged for copyright, uh, infringement, blah, blah, blah. Because if that's there, then that means that it's put in that limbo sort of account. So then how's it making money if it's in there? Now, well, it has to be watched first before someone can flag it. And especially so if it's... Uh, what you're saying is all money made up until the point as well where it's flagged goes to the person who flagged it. Yes. That's stupid. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, think about it. If it, you're a small YouTuber and you got maybe... Like let's us, say 50 subscribers. 50 <laughs> subscribers. Okay, so say out of those 50 subscribers and I'm going to be putting this on the woefully optimistic let's say 40 of them look at look at this before <laughs> I say woefully I said woefully you'll, you'd be like if we got two <laughs> uh, I'm just saying woefully I'm talking in real numbers not realistically hopeless numbers let's say okay let's say uh, let's go five watch it okay let's say five okay five watch it and 40 want to watch it those five who've uh, got the uh, advertisement money and that all settle out into your account, and then someone flags it, the sixth douchebag flags it, those five who watch, uh, watch the ads and give them the ad revenue money... So even if they watch it like a month ago... Yep. It goes over to whoever flags how, it. How do they do that, though? Like, what if I actually made enough from that video to collect my money? How are they going to get it from No, me? no, no. They do it for the day off. Of the flagging, not that's that's what I was saying earlier. Yeah. Like, it, if they watched it and then like two days later, this guy flags it, and mm -hmm. then you said, yeah, he gets the money, and I'm like, how how do they control that though? No, no. Like, how do they t deduct money? No, no, from it's on a point? daily thing, I believe. I believe it's okay. the day of the that, flagging. That's a bit better. They take the money, but the thing is, is that people make false flags, and the yeah. money goes over to the person who did it. So the corporation, uh, Anyways. yeah. So the corporation who made that flag is just basically throwing false flags everywhere. In fact, what is it? A lot of corporations aren't even doing it themselves. They get... They literally just outsource it to someone else who uh, has no name, has no real affiliations with anything besides. They uh, get a contract to do it. And then they just reap the money. The money's mine. <sighs> My well, poop. Yeah, that is kind of stupid. It is stupid, and it, here's the thing: for small YouTube, small-time YouTubers, you're maybe losing a few bucks. But at the same time, though, for like us at small time, yeah, um, we're not even. Not only are we not even really making money, it, it, we don't use any of the money if we well, get there's it. There's that too. Like, so basically, they're not really stealing from us; they're stealing from animal shelter charities. <laughs> Which would still happen. Which makes them even bigger of a dick, Oh, though. hey, here we go. First one. But that's not what I mean, though. Anyways, what I mean, though, is, like, 
less people watch us, so there's less chance of us getting flagged. That's true. If we're under the radar. I don't think any of my videos have been flagged up to this point. I doubt they would, because, one, we're not talking about Nintendo shit. Nintendo, you're hearing me. With their... We're uh, playing their game, but... Th- nope, this is Capcom, and this is an old game, and... But I mean, like, isn't... This is on Nintendo, though, originally. Mm. This was on Super Nintendo, right? Yeah, this was on Super Nintendo, but it was not Nintendo licensed. This is back in the SNES days where you could have an unlicensed... I thought Super Nintendo was where they had to start being licensed by them. Mm. Not really. I know that NES was, like, mm, a ballroom for people. Oh, yeah, NES was a ballroom for people. SNES, no, it wasn't really licensed. Because think about it, do you know how many... Was it, uh, what's his name? Angry Video Game Nerd did a whole bunch of, like, Bible games. A lot of those weren't on Super... They weren't one of them. Only one of them was on Super Nintendo. The, uh, no, Super Noah's Ark. Yeah. No, 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 two. There was Super Noah's Ark, and then there was the, uh, was it the food-based one? The one that was, like, I don't know, it was, like, Bubble, Bobble, but it was food-based, and then it asked, uh, Questions on the Bible. I don't. I don't get it. Either. I, I don't think they were. That was a Super Nintendo. I think the only Super Nintendo one was because he was playing Noah's Ark for the NES, mm-hmm. and he said. And then there's also this weird one for the Super Nintendo called Super Noah's Ark, but he didn't play that one. Yeah, he didn't play that one. But he that never was, played any on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, but there's still a bunch of unlicensed games. And what is it? They sold root kits. That's the biggest uh, thing that shows that. Uh, Super Nintendo did not have, care about license because there are root kits that people could could have bought and made their own games. It didn't have to be with a Nintendo license. I, mean, I tried like, making my own game. It's right there. <laughs> oh, good work. What what is that? RPG Maker for the PS One. Uh, yeah. What are you doing? With that. Check me out! I've got a new headgear! Anyways, though. Yeah. yeah. Come on, just let me change. Yeah, well, we haven't been flayed before. I'm sure we might if we ever get popular, but we're not yeah. that funny. It says you. I'm, well, I'm not making any of the money either, so... Either way, I, I, I think... I, I like our humor. Like, I Well, yes. Sometimes when I'm editing videos, I laugh at jokes that I said myself. <laughs> that doesn't really make you humor, so that makes you an asshole for laughing at your own joke. But it's just like the way I said it, and then like Devin's reaction to it, it was just like, <laughs> that was good. Okay, here we go. Ah, yes! Get out, get out, get out. There we go. Oh, I thought that was going to kill you because you like hit it with your back. I Almost, almost got me. It's like in Mario if you stub your toe on a turtle's eyeball. Ah! Just dead. Gone. But yeah, like, I do want people to enjoy our humor, and I do want people to enjoy the videos we make, but, like, I'm not too concerned with it. I, I want to hit 500 subscribers just for the sake of being able to make our YouTube uh, URL actually our YouTube URL. <laughs> well, you know. You, you need 500 subscribers to do that. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. This is not, like, our bread and butter. This is not... Oh, no, we all have careers and jobs, well... I'm in school. You're in school to get a career. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sitting around playing with myself much, and um, <clears throat> yeah, that's the thing I was talking about. The big YouTubers, you're that's literally their life. that's their life. You're stealing their life because you're an insensitive prick. It's still not cool though if like they try to steal money from us just because like yeah, yeah. they want to kind of thing. Yeah, but it, it, it's dollars and cents. It's like, this money may not be going to us, it may be going to charity, but, like, and we, we don't really need it because we're doing jobs. We actually have full-time careers. Like, I'm working, like, 50 hours a week. Yeah, and a full-time student's a thing. But, um, at the same time, you know, it's like, that's not yours. Yeah, it really isn't. If, if I ever got popular enough that I could just stop doing my career and do YouTube for a living... Yeah. Like... I might just do that and put out two episodes a day for people that are actually enjoying my content. Yeah. But right now, one episode a day because that's all I have time for. As a as a hobby. But like that that's what I mean, like 
You can't you can't be doing that shit, people. No. You don't want people stealing from you, so why are you willing to do it from them? Because it's it's lawyers and shit. It's lawyers? It's lawyers who want that. Because think about it. It's to them it's like you've stolen our content, you've played our game and people will now ne- never play our game again because you've shown how it works. How, like how everything is. Why would you ever want to play are you a game? Kidding me? Everyone's watching you like die miserably. Yeah, that's true. And they are going to be happy for it. I don't think anyone's watching this to learn about the game. No. Definitely not. I don't think anyone's watching this. Uh, <laughs> says you. Maybe five people are. Uh, I doubt that. I was actually very disappointed with how much uh, views my Skyward Sword series got. Hmm. I would have thought that one would have got a lot more, but I've only been getting like one or two views per video. And they're yeah. only 20 minutes long. Yeah, well, yeah. Where is he going? Please tell me. Yes, he's in there. Alright. So, like, to me, that's just... I, I just thought the Skyward Sword series would do a lot better, and I found it funny. Like, I watched a few of the episodes, like, mm-hmm. while I was editing them, and I, I found them funny. Okay. Well... Here's the thing, though. Everyone's got a different sense of humor. Well, not even, not even that. There's more to it than that. But um, exposure. You gotta have the exposure in order to do this. Because, yeah, you can be. Fuck. Why? How? How does a robot die from touching spikes? I don't know. Unless they're like EMP spikes. But then that big robot wouldn't last. Yeah. Well, none of these would last. I mean, take a look at this place. This place is crawling with mechanical. Garbage. Yeah, but how many of them touch the spikes? I don't know. S- some amount. Why don't you just break through that pillar? You can't. Why not? You can't just punch through it. Well, then, how, what's the point of this robot? To do that. Yeah, I'm flying. Hold on. Mm-mm. I have to say, though, I definitely pre- prefer the uh, Mega Man Zero games. Um, they're different. Actually, in the later games, you get a little bit more towards that style. Ah. Like, 1, 2, and 3 don't really have that style, because, like, this was a newer, grittier one. I mean, if anyone who's played the uh, original Mega Man... Yeah. It's it's happy and campy and, you know... You know, you gotta run, gotta run, (coughs) gotta run now. Gotta run now, yes. Yes. Exactly. This one, not so much. This one's gritty. I mean, in the, what is it, in the first... I really hope, though, that I remember to put a link to Brental Floss's channel on the yeah. video that we played. Uh, Maybe I'll just put it on the very first episode and call it a day. Do it. That way, it's like, at least I'm giving him credit even before, like, <laughs> the, we, we played one of his parts. Well, I mean, we sang it. We sang it terribly off-key. Oh, there's that, but I also mean, like, I even went to YouTube and played the video. Oh, well... For that yeah. one part about it. Oh my god, it's so tiny! Yeah, okay. That one you need to. Yeah, I know I need to, but I, I just wonder if I can put it on like my first video and still get like mm-hmm. no slack for it, or mm-hmm. if I actually have to go through and find where it was. <laughs> Remember, mm-hmm. that's the video that I need it for. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me... I just want one energy thing before I go. I don't want to... Sacrifice needlessly any more health. Come on, dro- you s- son of a goat! <laughs> Just give me your, give me your lifeblood. Your bats. This is what you do. Give me your control ships. <laughs> All your base are belong to us. Now, anyone who knows that reference, I am error. I, I am become error. You are not doing good. I'm. They're all they're doing is filling up my weapons, which are already full. Yep. I just ask for one, just one. Maybe bats don't drop them very often. They remember. Remember in the first one, they drop them all the time. They used to drop them very frequently. Maybe that's why they don't do it anymore. They're like, wow, that was way too easy in the first one. I want to destroy them. Whatever. Okay, here we go. You, I believe. I believe I hate you and I want you to die, sir.
Why did you do that? For that. I mean, like, why did you miss like that? I don't know. Just... What was the point of coming down here? Actually, just to get a little bit of health so that way you can run up here. Okay. 